All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, got a little bit of news for y'all this morning, man. Not a whole lot, man. We got the very first Elite 2 in the world. Man, I thought I played this game a lot. I ain't got Gene Kong. I ain't got nothing on me. Uh, we also have NBA 2K uh, Lab talking about some useless uh, shooting badges that we all should have known was useless, but hey, who, who knows really what's going on with this joint. And also, we got the release of Madden 21, man. So, you know, on the next-gen console, and you got my guy Boogs playing some games and stuff like that. So, if you don't do nothing else, like the video. It helps us get in the algorithm and all that good stuff, man. And um, I'll talk about a couple other things other than that, but let, let's just get right into the video. Lino! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pipes, that shit made me upset. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that head. So right off the bat, man, we got the very first elite in the world. In the world, Craig, and it's uh no truce. And uh this is him right here. We just gonna listen to the audio, what's going on, and uh like I said, I thought I played this game a lot, but yo. Hey! Let's get it! <laughs> Big W's in the chat, guys. Elite 2. First Elite 2 in the world, guys. First Elite 2 in the world. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. I would be geek too. And let me tell you why. This whole YouTube, Twitch, Elite, whatever you want to call it thing, this is something that can be life changing. I mean, like a lot of people don't understand that why the, why the whole community and everybody's so cutthroat in this whole thing and blah, 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 and all of this stuff. A lot of people don't understand that the reason that it is because it is because the amount of money that's involved is, is crazy. And a lot of people will do a lot of things uh, for money. It just is what it is. But this is one of the good things you can do for money. You don't gotta be cutthroat. You don't gotta be ugly to people. You don't gotta be this, that, and the other. You can just be a genuine person, play the game, do what you dozzle and fuck ass like I do on a daily basis, and you can, you can eventually come up in this whole uh in this whole YouTube thing, man. Uh, you but the main the main thing is consistency. So we see, like I said, no truth TV. He is the first elite two in the world. Uh, what did you got? Elite five now? Cause you it, normally it would have been he just needed to be elite three, and then after elite three he would have been um. But Elite 3 then it would have been legend or what have you like that. But he's not a gas firer like I am. But um, like I said, you would have gotten to be Elite 3 and then it would have been over with. But now we have two more levels. It's Elite 5 and then Legend, if I'm not mistaken. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong down in the comment section. But like I said, man, this stuff is life-changing on a lot of levels just because of the fact that if you play it correctly and you don't squander your first uh the first legend videos and stuff like that you can all like you you can be set up for life like twitch is like the day-to-day -day, the short game the, the the i need you know i'm trying to get a fan base and get going right now youtube is the forever money like when you put youtube videos on youtube these videos will be getting views as long as as youtube is a thing like like i i, I have videos from way back in 2009 when i first started doing this thing man and those joints still i got a, i got my very first video is a video of me playing basketball um i got the am one tour came to columbia south carolina i went to school there and i was playing i played with them and i was hooping and i just took some highlights from that that video i don't need it probably don't even got 3,000 views right now because it's actual basketball if it was a 2k video or something some something like that it had millions but it was actual basketball and i was playing with uh with am one and uh, that video still getting views right now today. It, it, those videos will always get views. So YouTube is the forever game. That's the retirement plan. Twitch is the day to day. So if he does it right, you don't have nothing to worry about. You can you you're good, my guy. So like I said, like just make sure that you keep the content coming, keep the first legend stuff going, ride the first legend thing as much as you can. That's why I like to have a center because you can just get boards on boards. Ride the first legend thing as long as you can if you if you make it there, and then just do the videos and blow up, let your personality shine through because the legend is the legend thing is gonna give you your opportunity, just like how Tosino gave Chico his opportunity. You understand what I'm saying? And look at how he just just has flourished i guess we would say it's in the community and stuff like that so godspeed to you my guy hopefully you get the thing a lot of people be wondering like is it really that much yes it, it's really that much money the amount of money that you can stand to make monthly on youtube with a with a modest amount is is the amount that a lot of people make in a in a year 
You understand what I'm saying? Like your favorite YouTube would probably make what what, what some folks make in a year, in a month. So that I'm just I'm just I'm just throwing it out there. But anyway, man, up up next, uh, we got your boy Spiel boy from um from NBA 2K uh, Lab, and he's talking about the uh, the set shooter badge and telling us that it is one of the most useless badges in the game because the amount of time that you have to stay set. Now he said you can be dribbling, and I'm, I'm gonna leave the link to the video in the description. You can be dribbling when you are um when you're setting to shoot. Like right here, you're gonna see him, he's dribbling, but he's in one spot and then he pulls. So if you are a player that, um that you know, that you like to dribble and then like, maybe there's something that Man Man Grindhard can use, cause right now you see how he's kind of just, just sizing up his space and stuff like that uh, before he takes his shot. But pretty much just saying that uh that, that it's, 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 it's all but useless. And it's all but useless in the fact that it doesn't fire all the time. And the amount of time that you have to sit still is the, um, is the amount of time that it would take for you to do like two pump fakes or something like that. And I'm just like, who has that amount of time to, to, to set the shooter shot? Like if you catch the ball, even if I catch the ball and let it go to the pocket and then fire it, it's like that's just, just not enough time for set shooter to pop off. I don't know if 2K needs to do something about that. I thought that uh, it was gonna be, see look, look, look how I shoot the ball, I just let it go. So I, I'm just like, uh, and I knew I shouldn't have shot that. I should have waited till my guy turned around and all of that good stuff. But the way that 2K does it is, um, I think they should probably drop that window down a little bit because I feel like set shooters should almost be like, it should be the amount of time that you're set, like, like not that you come set after you catch the ball. If I'm already set, then why do I need to come set? If I already been set for two or three seconds, right? And then I catch the ball, am I still not a set shooter? But I, 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 I don't know, man. So we got stop and go, you got rhythm shooter, and you got set shooter. But I just don't know, like that's a, that's a, that's still a shoot off the dribble badge or, or something like that, bro, I don't know. And this dude thought he was getting busy, and I was like, bro, as soon as I start defending you, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna sell the bag. And that's exactly what he did. Like, it's crazy when you be playing against randoms, and randoms really think they like that. And then you be like, bro, all I gotta do is defend you. Like, I'm, I, I haven't been defending you, that's how you got takeover. And from here on, you're gonna see this go. But last but not least man speaking of things that uh take over but mediocre uh in some ways uh we got madden madden 21 is here bro and uh this game right here i ain't gonna lie though bro it, it, look, it look pretty good man i ain't gonna lie now it, it looks good with these sideline interactions and stuff like that but i mean we still see legacy issues where the game does certain things and stuff like and they made me smoke a layup bro look at this they really made me hold on was i not wide open right there i'm sorry i'm sorry I'm sorry that I, I'm not staying on topic this morning, but am I not wide open for that dump? Am I not wide open for this alley and they just make me smoke it? Like what? What was that? And then he point like he completed it and all that and nobody can get the butt. That's crazy. But anyway, like I was saying, uh, Madden, Madden came out today on uh, Next Gen. I see a lot of people playing it and and, and uh, doing everything and it actually looks pretty good. I'm a gas fire. Yeah, I'm not gonna die by gas. Um, I see it actually looks pretty good. I still see some of the legacy issues and all that stuff. But like I said, I know that they haven't um they haven't been able to get uh a whole bunch well, does Matt never even do new new uh what do you call it? Not clone uh new mocap and stuff like that. Do they even do it? Because it still looks like the guy running on the treadmill or whatever. I don't know, man. The game looks pretty fun. You look at his sideline interaction and you see this, you know, see some stuff like that, and it makes you get hopeful. I've been watching Boogs on Twitch all day, and I'm not gonna lie, I mean the game looks fun, it looks good, but I think Madden is one of those games that's only gonna be as good or as fun uh to watch as the person that uh, that you're uh watching do it. So it, it's one of those things where it's like I do have some expectations, but it's Madden. If y'all want to see me play Madden, just let me know. I will download the game and I'll play it on Twitch um, for y'all to see. Oh, here you go. Here we go. Right! Get up! Get up, motherfucker! Woo! Motherfucker, get up! Let me drop a rack on this. Right! There we go right there. Hey, look, man, look. Somebody said that this center bill wasn't going to be that good. Let me show y'all. Look at this. No quick first step. Triple threat. Go up. Dunk on him. Like I told y'all what was gonna happen. If you come over with that guard late, you're getting dunked on. But hey, Jay, Jay, you don't got enough finishing badges. You ain't got this, you ain't got broke. I ain't even gonna hit him with the hard eight times. But anyway, like I said, chat, um, hopefully Madden is good. Y'all let me know if y'all have already played it. Let me know what you guys think and all of that good stuff. And uh, up to the minute, nine minutes ago, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta talk about this, bro. Anthony Davis just signs a 
five year, $190 million contract uh, extension. ESPN report, yeah, yeah, like we say in the low country, boy. Yeah, day, boy. Yeah, hold on, we gotta go to the big screen for that. Yeah, day, boy. Woo, that boy done died. $190 million. <laughs> let me read it off real quick. I gotta go dark mode because y'all know I can't read in light mode. Uh, let me see. A day after extending LeBron James's contract for two years, the resign, uh, the reigning NBA champions also uh, showed up a five-year extension for the All-Star Anthony Davis, according to the ESPN's uh, Adrian Wojnarowski. Both, uh, I can't, is that right? Yeah, War Wars and Alski, that's how he says it. Uh, both LeBron and AD are represented by Clutch Sports agent Rich Paul. Let me tell you something. I say let me tell you something. Y'all boys be trying to get Rich Paul like the game for a reason. I'm talking about, eh, eh, you can't be an agent if you don't got a degree. They gave him an honorary degree. Clearly this man knows the business. All Rich Paul do is advocate for his, his clients and get his clients his age. That's all he do. But y'all scared of somebody like that that come in and he's for the players and he gonna say, hey, I'm gonna get my guys paid. These guys make y'all billions and y'all don't wanna pay a millions? We ain't going for that. And LeBron James with the re-upping every couple of years and betting on himself, that's genius, all this stuff. Don't get yourself locked into these long-term contracts. Anthony Davis, what, 25, 26? Let's see how old he is. Anthony Davis is, uh, I think he's 26. And Anthony Davis. This just came across the wire, boy. Anthony Davis, 27. He'll be 32 when the contract is up. He'll be ready to re-up for enough. Ooh, that man got paid. Get paid, young. Get paid. Get paid, young. Get paid. Get paid, young. Get paid. No matter what you do, they show you get paid like dogs. Say, go get the money, Anthony. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I'm, I'm sorry that I just fast on that, but I'm for the players, bro. The, look. You got a corporation where you got billionaires crying about paying millionaires? Come on, bro. You add up all the salaries on the team, it ain't a billion. You understand what I'm saying? Well, it might be. No, nah, not even a year, not a yearly, not yearly salary. You add up all them yearly salaries, it's not even a billion. The whole corporation ain't even a billion a year, probably. And you make tons of money off of it. So, you know, it is what it is, man. I'm always advocating for the players. Anthony Davis, get your money, finalize that contract. And uh, that's all we got for y'all, man. This shirt will be in the store today. I'm gonna have a shirt, a big hoodie, and the performance hoodie, and all that. I'm gonna put all the stuff up like I normally do. I may not have all the colors, I might, um, but we probably just gonna have this in yellow. So whatever this looks good on in yellow, that's what we gonna go with. Anyway, I gotta get up out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry I spazzed like that, man. But um, that's my guy, man, Anthony Davis. That's, 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 that's my guy. Y'all be saying that's my brother. I don't have a unibrow, but we do have a stunning likeness. Uh, we do look like each other. And uh, he does also look like my son, Statistics, because I think I probably got a striking resemblance to both. But it is what it is, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Stats, my guy, though, man. That's my dog. That, that young man is hustling and doing his thing. Go check him out. I'm out at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Guys, please. Guys, please.